Hey, what's going on everybody? In the previous episode, I said I was going to be done with generic stuff and we were going to move on to something new. However, I just was not satisfied with the way I was doing something. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to improve some of the code we have. And it's going to be fun because we're actually going to be learning about wild cards just a little bit and a little bit more on casting with collections. So one of the things we did in the previous video can definitely be improved and made, made a lot easier. So the very first thing that I want to show you guys is I have this method here. And you can create this method if you do not have it. And this takes an array list of some type, in this case person. And person is extended in another class called admin. So right now this do something method will only accept an array list of type person. An array list of type admin is not going to work even though an admin extends person. A list of admin does not extend a list of person. This book I have, Core Java, has a really good picture to illustrate this concept. So in this case, manager extends employee, but a list of employee and a list of managers are no way connected. So you can see it says no relationship. So a simple solution I brought up that was a little bit verbose was to take a list of admins and convert it to a list of persons. And the way we did this was by iterating through the list and casting them to persons, which is what we did. This isn't the greatest idea, just for one, like it's kind of, it kind of just feels hacky to me, which I don't really like. I don't really like doing that. And there's actually a better solution and the way you do this is you actually go into the type of the array list that's required. You put a question mark and then all you have to do is say extends person. So when we do this, we're saying that any array list of a type that extends person is acceptable. This is an example of a wild card and there's a lot of different things you can do with them. But anytime you see this question mark, that's dealing with wild cards. So now what we can do is we can actually invoke this method by using an array list of type admin. So we'll pass admins in and we'll run this and we actually have an error. Oh, let's get rid of that call. Sorry there. That was from earlier. So we run this and nothing happens because it's empty, but we can see we don't get any errors and everything seems to work out just good. This works. However, the example I gave in the previous video of casting to a different type, this was ideal if the method you're working with is not something you're able to change. For example, we just went in here and we changed this. However, you might be working with somebody else's code or code that's already done and you can't go back and change. And in that situation, you might not just be able to change the type here. So then you'll have to do the casting. However, you don't necessarily have to do it element by element. Because if you think about it, all a cast really is, is it's changing the way Java treats a variable. The actual data doesn't change, it's just changing the type of the variable. So if we had a list, wouldn't it be more effective if we could just tell Java to consider the list of a different type? The data stays the same, but now we just look at the list a different way. So let's show the code for that, what that is going to look like. We'll clean up some of this code so we just have the bare minimum. And the reason we have all this code is because I was following from the previous video, but if you're just jumping in, you don't have to type all that back out. Basically all we need is this admin here and this list of admins. That's all we really need. If you're not working with admins, you just have to use a subclass, a type that derives from another class. So let's work with this admins list and let's create a new variable of what we want it to be. So if we can't change this signature here, and we have to have it of type person. Well, we're going to need a, a list of type person, and we'll use array list here. So you can use array list, or you can use the interface type, which is a little bit more general, and then import that. And this is going to be called people. Now, normally you would say new array list of type person but instead we're actually going to work with this admins list and convert it to a list of type person using a cast. So we're going to cast it to something, so it's gonna look like this. What are we gonna cast it to? We're just going to cast it to a list of type person. You can see we get an error here, so we actually have to do one extra thing that we normally wanna do with a cast, and we just put list, and then inside of here we put a question mark. And then we would pass in this people, list to the method. 
So I got this solution from a Stack Overflow question right here, which has an example down here. So just to credit that, really the series is just me <laughs> repeating stuff I read online, but don't tell anybody, shh. And there's some arguments about whether it's the best idea or whatever, but essentially casting is when you have knowledge that Java doesn't necessarily have, you're able to do the cast and things are okay. So let's just add some statements into this method just to make sure everything checks out. First, we can add some data to this admin. So we'll say a dot, um, and then we'll set an email, whatever, it's not an email, but it works. And you can tell this is working on a field directly, so it's not a method, so it's public, it's good to use, it's fine for this situation. And then we'll also set this person's last name. Okay, so we got some data on this person. And then what I wanna do is in this method, I just want to iterate through the list passed in. So we'll do a for each, for each person P coming from peeps. What are we gonna do? We're just going to output P dot email plus a space plus P dot last name. And the last thing that's probably important that you don't wanna forget <laughs> is to add this person to the list. So we would say admins dot add and pass in a execute it and we get the person's data. So that is how you would take a list and convert it to a different type of list. Now, in this situation, since we're in control of everything, we can be dynamic in how we solve this problem. So, for example, instead of using a list of admin, we could have just used a list of type person to begin with. That would have been fine, just the same. But sometimes we can't always do every single thing. As mentioned, we might be working with someone else's code or we might need to work with a list that is already in existence and is being used elsewhere. So I'm just, got, I'm just kinda throwing out all the different options for you guys. And yeah, just wanted to do a follow-up video and share those different ways of doing things. Okay, now I think I'm done with generic, so stay tuned for the next video and we'll get into something new. See you soon.